everyone! I am here today with my annual empties video and I plan to film these videos every November moving forward. I started last year with 10 months of empties because I didn't quite have a year of products and I really really loved the process of going through all of my empties for the year, seeing what products I used up, how many of each product, and then taking advantage of the sales that happen in November, usually around Black Friday. The goal is to stock up on enough products for one year, but not more than that. I don't want to overbuy like I used to. I'm seeing a pattern as to how many beauty products I use up in a year, and that is really reassuring for me to know that um, the amount I buy in November, I will use up by the following November. Let's start at the beginning with hair care products. Similar to last year, Hubby and I used up two big full-size containers of shampoo. We used up one hotel size conditioner. I used up one bottle of The Ordinary's hair serum, two little canisters of Lululemon dry shampoo, and Hubby used up the Lush Dirty, which is like a um, hair styling product. As I mentioned last year, my go-to shampoo is currently the Atomy Herbal Hair Shampoo. I really like this product. It does have a slight herbal scent, but I don't find that it bothers me. It just does a really good job at cleaning my hair but not leaving it dried out or leaving any residue in my hair. So I really really like this product and I have repurchased it and by the way I will show you my annual haul following the empties video. So that'll be a yet to be recorded video that will be posted uh, probably in December. The other shampoo that I tried is this one here and I got this from TNT which is an Asian grocery store. This is the Tamona Hada shampoo and it is in the rose scent. I believe this shampoo is from Japan. It was nice, but the rose scent was very, very strong, very overpowering. I like the scent of rose, but I also get scent allergies, and even having the bottle so close to my face right now, I'm feeling um, a little bit of congestion coming on. I wouldn't buy this product again, but I am happy I tried it. It was a nice shampoo, the scent was just too much. The other product that I wanted to touch on is the Ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density. I really love this product and I think it does work. I use it about twice a week so a bottle lasts a really long time. I only use about one every year. I just put around half a dropper full onto uh, my hair near the scalp and I work it into my scalp and this I feel like it has kind of like filled in my hairline a little bit and I notice a lot of baby hairs so I do think it works and I'll continue to purchase this and use this uh, two or three times a week. Next up, I'm gonna show you the bar soaps we used up. Hubby and I used up 11 full-size bars of soap, plus three smaller random soaps that we had here and there. This is an area where Hubby uses this product more than I do. I think 14 bars of soap does make sense though, because one bar lasts us around three weeks. Our favorite soap right now, even though the scent is very strong, is the Alpen Secrets Goat Milk Soap. This is in the country fresh scent. We usually try to get the lavender scent. In terms of body wash and bath products, we used up two big full-size containers of body wash, three bath bombs, including one that was used by Hubby. I also used up the Shea Sugar Body Scrub, which I've had for a very long time, a bath soak, so this is like um, Epsom salt, and I used up one shower steamer, which you leave on kind of like the edge of your tub or on a ledge. The water that hits it gradually dissolves it, and the steamer releases like a really nice scent. So these are the two shower gels that I used up. This one here is going to be my new go-to. It's the Atomy Herbal Body Cleanser. I wanted to mention that even though this is also the herbal line of cleansers from Atomy, this smells completely different from the shampoo. It has like a more um, floral scent. It's also a different color. So the herbal shampoo is like a, it's actually a really beautiful kind of like amber color, whereas this one is um, like a pearly white. The other product I wanted to mention is this one, and I do love the Body Shop shower gels. I thought I had finished our last one last year when I did my 10 months of empties video, but it turns out I had another one. This is truly the last one though. This stuff lasts forever. 750 milliliters and 
It took a while to get through this, especially since I'm primarily the person who uses shower gel. Even though I do really like this product, I'm also glad it's done because I was getting a little bit tired of it. In terms of body moisturizers, I finished one of the Andalou Naturals body lotion. I also finished six of the cake foot cream and three smaller sample sizes. I went through more moisturizer than I thought, but the reason I only have one of these to show you is because I have like a huge container that I'm working through now of this same product. I think it was like three or four times the amount that's in one little tube. I love this moisturizer. This one is my favorite. It just smells really good. It smells like rose, but not like the shampoo that I used that was too strong. This one has like a very mild and natural scent that doesn't trigger my scent allergies. Really, really love this product. It's like definitely one of my favorites. The other product where I was very surprised that I used so many of is the Cake Cakewalk uh, Minty Buttered Oil. So this I use as a hand and foot cream. I apply this every night before I go to bed. Next, I'm gonna show you the sheet masks that I used up. I used up one from OK, the peptide sheet mask. I also used up uh, two packages of multiple sheet masks from Lululun. And I used up four Atomy sheet masks. Two are the firming variety and two of the moisturizing variety. What was interesting to me was that when I looked back at last year's empties video, I didn't have any sheet masks in my empties. So I went through a phase where I wasn't taking baths. And this year I started taking baths again, which is why I used up so many sheet masks. I have started floating regularly in those like Epsom salt pods, so I don't know how many baths I'll be taking at home, but I will try to remember to do a few sheet masks every now and then because I really do love um, the way they make my skin feel. The Lululemon ones were um, each seven sheet masks, so this represents 14 masks that I used up, and then the rest were like single-use packets. The Atomy ones are fantastic. I really, really love these sheet masks. I don't notice a difference between the firming and the moisturizing. Both are um, equally luxurious. Continuing on with skincare, I finished one of the Atomy Cleansing Oil, the Divine Essence Rose Mist, the Atomy 3 Seconds Beauty Water, the OK Serum Mist, and I also finished uh, one of the Atomy Cream Mists, but this is um, this was more like a cream for me than a facial mist. I finished a full-size container of the Atomy Lotion, as well as seven small samples. I like that I finished a bunch of samples and I don't really remember many of them very well. The first product I wanna talk about is the Atomy Deep Pure Cleansing Oil. I love this product, as I mentioned in a previous video. I think it's a dupe for the Tatcha cleansing oil, but it's half the price. The problem with this product is that it goes in and out of stock. If I happen to see it again in a future November when I'm doing my beauty purchases, I will buy it. Otherwise, I will look for something different. This is the Divine Essence Organic Damask Rose floral water. So I use this as a toner or as like a, a quick spritz before I put on my skincare. It smells amazing. It just smells very like natural rose, not overpowering. It's a very nice dose of aromatherapy every time I spray it. The only issue I have with this product is that the spray bottle, it sprays in a really like thick mist. So I actually transfer this product into a smaller bottle that I have where the mist is a lot finer. We are moving into the ordinary and the ordinary is its own category this year because I finished a lot of products from them. These are all the skincare stuff. I finished four of the Argireline Solution 10%, one of the Matrixyl 10% plus Hyaluronic Acid. I finished the 60 milliliter bottle of the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. I also finished the rosehip seed oil and the marula oil. The argireline solution 10% in particular I find does help reduce 
the appearance of fine lines on my skin. So I will continue to use that. I use this product pretty much every day, twice a day, although sometimes I only use it in the morning if I'm using like the lactic acid at night. I only use the lactic acid without this product. The Matrixyl and the Niacinamide are products that I rotate through, so I'll use up the entire bottle of Matrixyl and then I'll switch to the Niacinamide and then I'll go back to the Matrixyl. There's no real benefit to doing that, I don't believe, but I like both products pretty equally and I want to use both products but not at the same time so that's how I kind of navigate that. Out of the two oils that I used up my preferred one is the marula oil. There's no real reason for that that I can pinpoint other than the fact that I just like it better. So the rosehip seed oil I have used several times. I think this is probably my third bottle since um, starting with the ordinary products a few years ago and every time I feel the same way I like the marula oil a little bit better. Now we're getting into the makeup bits. I used up a full-size bottle of the Atomy Healthy Glow Base as well as the BB Cream, a Daiso sponge, a tiny trial size of the Posi Tint, which lasted a very long time, one tube of my favorite mascara by Heroin Make, two sample size mascaras, and an Anastasia Brow Wiz. I really like the Atomy Healthy Glow Base combined with the BB Cream. I find it provides a little bit of coverage, like barely their coverage, but does even out my skin tone a little bit. I'm wearing this combination today, but I didn't repurchase it for next year because I have actually pretty much stopped using BB cream and foundation. I just want to use up what I have and then decide if I want to buy more moving forward. These two products, however, I love. The Heroin Make Mascara is my favorite. This is the long end curl version. The volume and curl is also great. And as well, the Anastasia Brow Wiz comes in very handy now, especially when I go for my float and I like to draw in my eyebrows before I leave the float center. I purchased the Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. Moving into lip products, I finished a whopping five lip balms. I also finished one of the Atomy Lip Glow, and I also finished two trial sizes of lip gloss. I love lip balm and I tend to go through a lot of it, so I always have at least a few on the go. I have them in different purses, in different rooms in the condo, etc. This took me a very long time to finish and I am finally done. My friend bought me this many years ago. It's the Vaseline Lip Therapy uh, in Rosy Lips, which has a very nice light tint to it. Similar to the Rosebud Solve that I finished last year though, I don't like that I have to dip my finger into this container to apply the product. So I much prefer this type of lip balm, the stick ones. And out of the ones that I finished, my two favorites are these ones. So this one is by the brand Hurrah. I didn't love this particular scent that I chose, the Earl Grey one. The lip balm that I love though, that I wish I had purchased more of, is this um, Niagara Kissables lip balm. And I purchased this one from the shop in Allura. I loved this product so, so much. The formulation was great. There was a really beautiful lavender scent, but no flavor. It was a good lip balm. I really enjoyed it. One other product that is my favorite in this lip category that I wanted to talk about is the Atomy Lip Glow. This is a dupe for the Dior Lip Glow and I just love it. I wear it pretty much every day if I want a hint of color to the point that I've pretty much stopped wearing lipsticks. So right now I wear lip balm, of course. I wear this lip glow and some lip gloss, but the lip gloss really is just to get through it. We are getting to the end now. I wanted to talk about oral hygiene. This is very similar to last year where I'm not sure I kept all of the empties. Oddly enough, it's exactly the same as last year. So maybe I did an okay job at that. I know hubby and I did use up some mini toothpaste during our travels, but those aren't in here, which is why I'm second guessing myself. Hubby and I finished three of the Atomy toothpaste, which is my current favorite toothpaste. As well, I finished three packages of dental flossers. For my dental flossers, I like the unflavored variety. For this last clip of my empties, I finished a foil packet of hand 
cream, a foil packet of fragrance, five bottles of essential oil, the orange, tea tree, eucalyptus, peppermint, and lavender, and one container of black cotton swab. So I do go through essential oils quite quickly because I like to um, use them on lava rocks that I keep in the bathroom. So every time I clean the bathroom, which is once a week, I add some essential oils to make it smell nice in there. My favorite ones are the citrusy ones, so lemon, orange, lemongrass, that type of thing. But I also really, really love the lavender. I also like mixing my essential oils, so sometimes I like to add the peppermint to the lemon scent. Just smells really nice and it's a little bit different. That is basically it for my empties video, but I have one more product that I actually just finished this morning, and that is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in medium brown. This product lasted so long. I remember buying a replacement last year. So even though I had just a tiny, tiny bit left, not enough for me to risk running out during the year, so I went ahead and bought the replacement, it still lasted me a full year from the time that I did my haul video. And you may have noticed that I didn't have many makeup bits at all in this video. The reason for that is really twofold. One is that makeup just takes a really long time to use up, especially if you're rotating through products or shopping your stash because you have like multiple shades of blush or bronzer, or you have like different eyeshadow palettes and such. It can take a really, really long time to use up that type of product. The other reason is that I don't wear makeup that much anymore. Pretty much the only makeup that I wear every day is brow powder and sometimes I use the uh, brow whiz. So this is still a staple in my beauty regimen, but everything else is pretty optional now, including mascara, which I used to wear every day. So that's a little shift that has happened in the past uh, year or so that has been very interesting to me. That is it for my annual empties video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back very soon with my annual beauty haul. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next one. Until then, please take care and bye for now.